Hey guys, GeoGaming here, and welcome back to another video. So, um, this r slash Nintendo Parents video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be doing, basically doing it in the format of GeoFilms, um, MK, what else? Redditor, if you if you never heard of them, link in the description. And I'll be trying, I'll be doing, well, I will be doing it in the uh, format of those YouTubers and other Reddit YouTubers. Because I want to try it, something different. I might go back to the face cam eventually, but <clears throat> let's see today's story. So, so today's first story is... Entitled mom yells at me and my boyfriend for kissing. EM, another me, er, uh, EM, entitled mom, me, a gay boy, BF, another gay boy, EK, entitled kid. <clears throat> now on to the story. Me and my BF just had our one year anniversary, so for it, we decided to go to a place where we first met. A small hiking trail that leads up to a mountain. We were holding hands and laughing as we went up. And halfway up, this little exchange happens. EK runs up to us. What are you doing? Me. Oh, it's our one year anniversary since we started dating. Now this kid was pretty young, seven or eight. And we were pretty sure she didn't know what being gay was. EK, cool! Runs away. Me and my boyfriend got up to the hill and were just enjoying the view. I decided to lean in for a kiss. Ooh, <laughs> nice. But I hear someone yell, STOP! EM, Friggs, I guess. M my, mo my mom told me you will burn in heck as long as it has Oh, P. Oh, thanks. EM proceeds to yell at us about Satan, God, and Hell. Well, we just made our way down the hill. She wasn't the worst EM I've met, but it did hurt me. Like, why the homophobia in 2020 anyway? Again, this was pretty short. So, bye. Oh my gosh, being there's nothing wrong with being with being gay. Um, I don't mind it. I have plenty of friends who are gay. Uh, so to me, OP, that personally isn't a problem to you being gay. Good for you. Happy anniversary to you and your boyfriend. Anyway, next story. Entitled woman shouts at me after having a seizure at work. Oh my. Backstory. I've always been a medical disaster from the day I was born. Literally with heart problems and severely underweight. Up to today. When I'm blind in one eye. I have a speaking disability and have recently been told that I have a high chance of being diagnosed with epilepsy from a severe head injury I had four years ago. I was referred to a specialist a few weeks ago, but he didn't do anything, so I'm currently working my way through the medical system to get it properly looked at, but haven't shown any signs or symptoms until recently in the form, until recently in the form of partial seizures, which caused me to lose my balance, become extremely dizzy feel very scared see flashing lights spasms in my leg and doesn't allow me to respond to events happening around me properly chapter one the, the meet the meeting so this took place in work not long after I had been told there's a high chance I have epilepsy I had told one of my co-workers as a safeguard just in case, but I hadn't told any of the managers, and I didn't want to put my job in jeopardy. And I didn't feel comfortable telling them, knowing at the time. My co-worker and I were working, 
and she was checking up on me every hour or so to make sure I was alright. And I was trying to stay in a good mood. After about 2.30pm, when the lunch rest had finished, work had, quieted, work had quieted down. And we had a small stream of customers come in, including our entitled mom, who will name Karen, as usual. She came in with her husband and two kids, a boy and a girl, who were lovely people. As they enter, I greet them and they go to order their food at the counter. No biggie. They get it and sit down and all was good. Chapter 2 The Incident Not long after they sat down, Karen points at me from across the restaurant, tr trying to flag me down and wave me over. I comply and go over to attend to them. Asking what the problem is, Karen goes on to say that she's missing several things from her order. As she's doing this, I'm f I got a feeling that something isn't right. And a couple seconds later, I realize I'm about to have a seizure. I tell her I'll sort out the issue quickly and, uh, and walk into the back to make sure no one sees. Once I get to the back, the symptoms kick in, as I predicted. I had a seizure. It was about two to three minutes with a minute of recovery and giving myself time to readjust and get myself straight before walking out back out to do my job. As soon as I walk back out, Karen comes and stomping to, up to me, red faced. Where the heck have you been? Where is our food? Etc. etc. With a few minutes or a few insults thrown in for good measure. I apologize and tell her that I had some medical business to sort. Well, it isn't imp oh. Well, it isn't more important than a customer, she replied that with a typically female dog-like caring tone. I, of course, am not in the in the mood to put up with this woman and take her receipt to the counter without saying a word. And after looking at it, I realized that all the food ha had been handed to her. Nothing was actually missing. I walked back over and explained that nothing was missing, but she cuts in. First, you skive for 10 minutes, and then you lied to a customer and now you tell me that I'm wrong? Worst customer service ever. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I told you that I had some medical problems to sort out urgently. <laughs> Bearing in mind she's in front of her kids, you're probably just a lazy, la lazy little D's. That's too stupid for a real job. At this point, her husband cuts in. Karen, leave the man alone. If he says he has something medical to sort out, it then is an urgent thing. He then turned to me. I'm so sorry. May I ask to what medical problem it was, if it's not too much? Seeing the opportunity, I reply. I was having a seizure. The husband then looks at me in surprise, and Karen's face had gone completely red. He he's lying. If you did, you'd be in, you'd be in an ambulance. No, ma'am. There's a different types of seizures, and the ones that I've had last about three minutes and aren't as serious as to fit, so I can get back to work straight after. I'm very sorry to hear that. I hope it gets better for you, and I'm sorry for all the trouble caused. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your meal. Chapter 3 The Aftermath About 20 minutes later, they were getting up to leave. Make sure to clean up any mess, and and that day I left, which was nice. The husband came over to me while Karen got the kids ready. I'm very sorry about that. She's like that sometimes. I really hope things get better for you as again. I'm sorry. I told him that it's perfect. Per per I told him that it's perfectly fine, and he isn't 
and the one who should be apologizing but trying to get a Karen to say sorry is like trying to get a blood from a stone. And it left with Karen hanging her head in shame. After that, or after what I can only imagine were some words from her husband, I just hope that she learns her lesson and treats more people with respect from now on. Thanks for reading! Oh my days. I seriously, as OP, I seriously hope you get better from all these seizures that you've been having. And I do hope that you don't get diagnosed with epilepsy. Which, yeah, like I said, I do hope that you don't. Okay, last story of the day. Entitled Mom Hates Foreigners. Alright, background info. Here we go. Me, Entitled Mom. EM, Entitled... Oh, wait. Me, me, Entitled Mom. EM, Entitled Kid. EK, Nice Guy. NG, Nice Security. And S, I am Norwegian. And I look to be the stereo stereotypical part. You know, blonde hair, blue eyes, etc. Important later. I was visiting the USA for a bit to see some family and was buying some stuff at a shopping center. Cue the EM tapping me on the back. And this conversation ensues. EM Hey, get the box up for me off the top shelf. Alright, sure. I'm not that bad. To not. I give her the box and she walks a bit away without saying thank you. Oh well, whatever happens, happens. Then I overhear her kid. Why is that guy so weird? He looks so weird. He's a foreigner. They look weird. They act weird. Just tell me anything, EK. Well, Americans are better, right? Now I'm thinking, what the heck? That's stupid. They're just entitled. Whatever. Nothing can be. Nothing worse can happen. I thought. I was wrong. Of course, Americans are better than those dumb foreigners. We're smarter too. Not really, honestly. I mean, us Americans are smart, but we can be just plain stupid too. Anyway. So they have to do stuff we say. Yes, EK, we do. I'm thinking, hold on, what the heck? Is that a slavery based on a country of origin? That's stupid. I go over to them and say, hi, miss. I just, I just want to ask you to give me a box on the shelf, please. Thanks a lot. What? No, I don't have to. Okay, sorry. Hey, you. Give me an item from four aisles down. Sorry, I'm kind of busy. I'm shopping for myself right now. But you have to! You're right, EK. You have to get it for him. Um, no, I don't. Get it when you go over there yourself. Cue EK screaming and having a tantrum. Look what you did, you foreign son of a beep! What? Security! He assaulted my son! Security guard comes over, confused. What's going on here? This foreigner assaulted my child! Arrest him! NG, a bystander, interrupts. That's not what happened. This lady was treating this... Porn... Porn? Foreign... <laughs> foreign gentleman very unfairly. They argue for a bit while I tell NS what happened. Ma'am, you need to stop and leave the store now. Fine, I'm never coming back. She storms out. And I thank NG and NS. I'm still in contact with NG. We're good friends now. Moral, don't hate on foreigners for no reason. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm going to actually read one more in our parents' story. Just for a bonus. See, this This one is short, so it won't be that long. Um, don't take that out of context, please. Entitled parent unofficially reserves the last smoothies for, for her children. Longtime lurker, first running with an entitled parent? 
So there I am, in the National Theater watching kids theater with my mom. The first act ends, and in the intermission, we go to the mini bar where some, where some salad, alcohol, soft drinks, and smoothies were sold. There was a huge line, so we went to the end of the line and hoped some smoothies would remain. So a few minutes pass and we get to the counter and ask the bartender, barista, cashier, for two smoothies. Everything is on the counter and accessible to everyone. There are four smoothies and in three of them some straws are put in. Where a woman, the EP, is standing by. We pay for them and take two of them when EP stops us. The conversation went something like this. Sorry, these are our smoothies. We have already reserved them. My instant relative here is my mom, uh, I guess, is standing in line right there. No, wait. My grandma, okay, is standing in line right there. My mom, a little shocked. What? We, we paid for these smoothies, but... Uh, but you haven't, so why can't we take one of them? EP, my kids have already taken a sip of them, Mom. But why? Don't take your personal problems out, of, out on me. Look, we just want the smoothies we paid for. Why should we stand in line if we don't know if we're getting what we're standing in line for? Don't put your personal problems on me. If you want to do it, put it on your children. Yes, she said that. I'm not joking. The bartender and us completely dumbfounded just look at her for a second before my mom just gives in and we take only a single smoothie. The bartender gives us back the money we pay for one of the smoothies and we just left completely puzzled. For now, such people that have no shame whatsoever can exist. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. All these stories in our slash and tunnel parents are extremely crazy, you guys. Um. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys like the new format. I'm trying, I'm like experimenting because I don't like standing for a long period of time. Um, anyway, that is about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, click or tap that like button. And if you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications to get notified for every single video I upload on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and don't forget to keep it positive until the Pride Lands end. Bye guys!